Hong Kong use new recommendation policy asks us to use great descriptors and standards. What's that? Maybe it's A B C D E F or first, second, third honors. Oh, I think I've done that already. Look at me! Look at me! Um, I'm afraid that is not it. Isn't it the same as Rubik's? No, I'm afraid not. Rubik's assess precise components of an assessment, like grammar, content organization, and referencing. While great descriptors should be descriptive statements about students' stage of development, it needs to align with learning outcomes and indicate students' development of higher level thinking. Here is an example. Wow. But why do it need to be so detailed? Is a mind enough? I know what an A student is anyway. Even if I write the detailed great descriptors, I will not use them when I'm grading. You need great descriptors to communicate with other professors and TAs to have consistent grading. I am sure other professors and my TAs know what I mean. I've already written down the criteria, like critical thinking and original thoughts. These are all common sense to the experienced markers. Why don't we do an experiment? Let's invite this teacher here and us to do a test. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Question one: One hundred dollars. What is originality? A. Do things creatively and independently. B. Present a different idea in an appealing style. C. Create something new and not copied from others. D. Obi Wan Kenobi. I know, I know. It must be B. No, no, no. It should be C. No, I don't think you get it. Originality should be doing things independently and creatively. It should be A. Do you want to use lifelines? Let's phone a friend. No, ask the audience. Okay, so here we have 31% of audience think the answer should be A, 31% B, also 31% pick C, and 7% pick D. Your definition is so different from mine. Oh, our definition is so different, even if we are from the same faculty. So you see, you need clear grade descriptors to facilitate grading communication. But it seems very difficult and cumbersome to write grade descriptors. You can refer to the grade descriptors from other universities. They provide some good examples, or you can contact CETL for help. Well, if the grade descriptors are a university requirement, then I will just write them. Great descriptors do have a lot of benefits, like ensuring consistent grading and increasing the transparency of assessment to students. But it will be useless if teachers just write the great descriptors and do not implement them. You will need to work with some good examples and discuss with your colleagues. Finally, you should share the great descriptors with students to let them know how they are assessed to ensure grading transparency.